What's up, everyone? Welcome to more Mafia Definitive Edition. We just finished uh, Ordinary Routine. Now we're on to the next chapter. I'm glad I finally got to do some shooting, by the way. But if you're enjoying this series, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you hear my dogs in the background, I'm sorry. Intermezzo, 1938. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. It didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And the next, you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money. And you're lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, I wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. And he did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. These load screens, man. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just. I just, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills are bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin I got... That was messed up. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Merle made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh. Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booths, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But... I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. What fun were you doing? Baseball or strip club? Fair play. 1932. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figure it'll be a bit of a hobby. 
Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you'll boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. It should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure. All right, let's do it. Talk to Ralph. Uh, is Ralph back this way? What is that? Race day approaches. The grandest day in the sporting calendar is almost upon us. Record crowds are expected to descend upon the lost he <coughs> Heaven Autodrome this weekend. As the city basks in glorious sunshine, famous German driver Martin Lichtenberg is taking some time away from the International Series to challenge Lost Heaven's new Mikey Dunn. Not new, Lost Heaven's hero. And racing fans are on tenter hooks. Why did I say new? You guys ever just have a random word just pop in your head? Like, what the heck? Where were you last night? Don't make no damn sense, tell you what. Go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this later. Apologies. Hey, bona say to Tom. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. To send him up a message. So, tonight we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lolo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey. If you need somewhere to keep your motor safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Okay, open the garage and select a vehicle. What do we want to drive? Oh, dang. I own five cars. What the heck? I, I didn't know cars were going to be such a big deal in this game. I think I want this. Motorcycle, I don't trust. No one's talking, so let's just skip the drive. If they were talking to us, I'd go ahead and drive. They're talking to me, I should say. You, Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's, a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Okay, now we got someone Tomorrow driving morning with us. They start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. What is hooch? Ah, oh, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, the 
This is it. Let's do it. Does look fast. Nineteen twenty nine Carazella C series, best in class. It's a shame you got to wreck it. If they see this on the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by one thirty before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Oh, -ho, this thing's fast. Oh, I bet I bet you we have to run from the cops. Oh gosh. Dang, that hit really took a lot of health off this car. Do I have to bring it all the way back too in that amount of time? Cause that'd be insane. Whoa! Oh gosh. I hate being timed, it makes me so nervous. Why is this drive so long? <laughs> Make sure I break every now and then, or else I'm just gonna fly into a wall. Oh, I went the wrong way. Luckily, it adjusted itself like an actual GPS. That's cool. It's funny because I actually missed my turn on the way to work today, too. Uh oh, cops. Don't chase me. We're almost there. Ugh. Get out of the way then, woman. You should know you shouldn't be walking on the sidewalks. We made it. Tommy Angela. Lucas Bertoni. She a thing of beauty. We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Okay, it's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Oh, gosh. This is going to suck. I did not know this game was going to be so much about driving and cars. But oh well, it's not that big a deal. I put it on arcade 
driving instead of simulation for obvious reasons. Because I do not want to have to stop at every single stoplight and stuff. I haven't hit anything yet. Oh, haha. Uh -huh. Nervous laughter ensues. Woo. Oh, I almost forgot about the overheating. Get that, get back down, and then go. I actually had a car that overheated really easily back in the day. I had to stop at every single gas station on a 48 mile drive to uh, put water in my car. Literally every single gas station. Because it would overheat and the water would leak out. It was terrible. But anyways. That's an interesting story, right? Nah. He's gone. Go back to patrols. Oh, woo, look at that dodge. Ho ho, dodge. Him. I love the music in this game. It's like who framed Roger Rabbit music? Or the mask. I guess I made it already, even though I'm not there, because the timer went away. Oh, you're back. Thank Christ. Of course, of course. Go. Drive like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. <laughs> that sucks that that car is. Bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear him cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, you've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, I Tom, there's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Okay. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. 
This is gonna be awkward. I wonder if I actually have to win this. <laughs> he already lost. That's so funny. At least I don't have a uh, ooh, a meter for my car getting damaged right now. You guys definitely should fix this race for me to win. Hey, we're almost in top five. I'll take it. I'll take it. These look like those little box cars that they used to make in like the old movies and TV shows. All right, top five. Let's let's pass them up. Fourth place. Move out of the way, yellow. I'm in the mafia. You think I'm gonna race clean? They're drifting in this? Probably not. Lap two. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> flip, flip over, flip over. Oh damn, I didn't really realize there was a flip option. That's annoying. I went from fourth place to 13th. Cause I didn't know how to flip over. Who's saying crab? Is it me? Son of a bitch. I really hope I don't have to win. Because it's going to take like a hundred tries if I have to win. Thank you. Thank you for stopping me. Oh, sure. Oh, I did exactly what he did. That's the dude that was in first place, too. <laughs> He's in last now, almost. Dang, I saw him do that, and I still did it. I should still have time to pass people. The only thing that sucks is they're all as fast as me, so I can only pass them on the turns. Got it. We got into the group again, at least. Him. We got this, guys. We got this. Shit. I just can't hit that corner again. Come on, only two left to pass. One left to pass. If I get him out of the way, there we go. Yeah, let's go! There we go. Now just finish it out. Finish it out. Oh, finish it out. Tommy Angelo. 
finish it out. Let's go. Let's go. No, 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 you motherfucker. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for the cuss word. Ha <laughs> ha. I win. Nice. Better get a trophy for that. Hey, Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You ain't us all a lot of money today. And Morello's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> Hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. Ooh. Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on Bruce and Horace. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new Coke. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.